What's up? And welcome to another episode of Evie's Review. On this episode, I'm going to talk about circuits. So, what kind of circuits? Electronic circuits, of course. So, what does a circuit do, anyway? Have you ever heard the term, complete the circuit? Circuits are, at their most simple, a conduit for electricity. Think about it. When a computer doesn't have electricity, does it do anything? No. And when you plug something in the wall, how many prongs are there? Well, two or three. So by definition, a circuit has a start and an end. And what's between the start and the end? Well, electricity, of course. So I had my first big no-no lesson about circuits. Check it out. I've got this old Commodore 64 that I'm trying to fix up. Its problem is that it doesn't have any sound. Oh my god, that's terrible! No sound! How am I gonna play a game without sound? That's terrible! So, I did a lot of YouTubing, internet research, and here's what I discovered. The first thing I wanted to make sure was that the SID chip was powered on. So, I took my digital multimeter. I put one end on the pin up here, and the other end on the pin down here. And I discovered that this chip was getting 7.2 volts when it should have been getting 12. That's like having a bowl of cereal with half the milk. It's just not good enough. So from there, there were a few things to check. Was the 9 volt AC coming in from the power supply? Check! Was the 12 volt voltage regulator working? Let me see. Oh no! What happened? It looks like I blew a fuse. Big lesson here, don't short out a voltage regulator. In fact, if you've got one of these things that has a little grounding plate at the top, do yourself a favor and use the plate as the ground, not the pan in the middle. Fortunately, there was no pop, crack, snap, cropple. You get the picture. So I went over to my local electronics store at Lasher's and I got these great little fuses. They were about 80 cents a piece. So actually blowing the fuse was the best possible thing that could have happened. If I didn't blow the fuse, God knows what else would have got fried in this thing. So lesson learned, don't complete the circuit ahead of schedule. I'm telling you, electricity is like having the power of God in your hands. So because the voltage regulator was clearly not outputting what it was supposed to, I had to see what was coming right before it. It turns out there are two diodes and two capacitors. So what's a diode? Well, a diode is like a resistor, except it only resists in one way. So after my test, I was getting resistance one direction and no resistance the other direction. So onto the capacitors. When I looked at the capacitors, I realized one of them had a little brown spot on the side. That indicates a high likeliness that this sucker was burnt out. Now, because I don't have a special meter to measure capacitors in circuit, I'm just gonna have to go with my hunt. Everything before these two capacitors works great. Everything after these two capacitors is toast. So this computer uses a really special kind of capacitor. These are axial. I think my first stop is my local electronics store. For all you people out there in internet land, if you can, try to buy local. So I'm sure this video will have a part two with the exciting conclusion of, did Evie fix the commoner? So thanks for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and click subscribe. And don't forget to tune in next week for another episode of Evie's Review.